This is question 37. College Board gives us data on a rowing race and asks us at a rate of 28 strokes per minute on the final 500 meters, which was 108 seconds, how many strokes is that? So I have 108 seconds and I have strokes per minute, so I'm going to convert that to minutes. I'm going to put 60 seconds in the denominator because 60 seconds is one minute. And by putting seconds in the denominator, I'll cancel the units of seconds, which is how we change units in our chemistry classes by multiplying by an expression equal to one, where the numerator and denominator are equal. I also know my strokes per minute, and that will cancel the minutes here with 28 strokes is one minute. Minutes cancel, and now I'm left with 108 times 28 strokes divided by 60 is my number of strokes. I'm asking how many strokes, so that's the correct units. 108 times 28 divided by 60, and my calculator is 50.4. But the question says, to the nearest whole number, So I'll grid in 50. With College Board especially, with all math questions, but especially College Board, it's important to read the question carefully and make sure your answer answers their question. If I graded it in 50.4, that would be wrong because they said the nearest whole number. By rounding it to 50, I'll get this question right. College Board often asks you to convert units and they often ask you questions that either tell you to round or do not tell you to round and in either case you have to follow their instructions. Come back soon for my next video. With math there's always more.